Good morning, my name is Carla Olson and I am running in the upcoming provincial election happening on June 2nd. I'm so happy that I've, that I've been given this opportunity to create this video to introduce you to myself and to my party and to help you to make an informed decision um, when you go to cast your vote on June 2nd. I have cre I'm creating this video and on this video, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about me and a little bit about my party. I'm also going to highlight our key points that are focused on our platform with respect to long-term care. So these are the things that can directly affect you. In addition to that, just to keep things interesting so that you're not just listening to me, you know, ramble on about our platform, I've included an interview that I recently did with Your TV Sarnia. And on that interview, you'll be able to get a sense of who I am, who my party is, and what our, what we stand for. So I hope that this video is informative to you. I hope that you enjoy it. And I hope that it helps you to make your decision when you go to cast your vote on June 2nd. So I'll start, I'll go ahead and start by telling you that I am not a politician. I am a wife of 23 years. I am a mother and I'm a grandmother. So I have three children and three grandchildren. I'm running with the Populist Party Ontario or the PPO. We are a grassroots party. We are the alternative to the establishment parties that you, al you already know, the NDP, Liberal and Progressive Conservatives. We are ordinary people who identify the need for the government to get back to truly serving the communities they represent. For too long, politicians have pushed legislation and mandates without first hearing the concerns of the people they serve. This is the reason why the PPO was formed. We are a party who stands with the people and for the people. So just to move on, just to highlight, um, you know, our key points found on our platform with respect to long-term care, which definitely directly affects you. I'm just, this is not the entire platform on long-term care. This is not all of our goals. These are just a quick highlight of it. And also I hope that you will, you know, gain the information that you need on the video that will follow from your TV. So immediately for long-term care, we would like to hire back all the staff that have been terminated or placed on unpaid leave as a result of COVID-19 vaccine policies. In addition, we are committed to seek out insufficiencies in the allocation of funds throughout organizations and ensure that funds are responsibly being focused to frontline care, which is focused on you. It is our goal to improve job satisfaction and resident continuity of care by creating more full-time positions in long-term care homes and in community care. We need more PSWs. We would like to support and explore earn as you learn programs, which would, which would work like apprenticeship programs or on the job training with hybrid formats for theory. In addition, we would like to expand the PSW programs offered currently at Alexander McKenzie High School here in Sarnia. We would like to expand that across the province in all high schools. We also, and lastly, but not least important, we recognize the hardship that many residents, you, in long-term care have felt over the last two years with the visitor instructions, or restrictions, I'm sorry, with restrictions that have been put into place. We wanna reunite, reunite you and your families, and we wanna open the homes to ensure that you can hug your family members, all of your family members. So that just gives you just a quick overview of our platform with regards to long-term care, tells you just a little bit about myself. And, uh, you know, again, I just wanna thank you for this opportunity. I wish you a great day and I hope you enjoy the interview that you're going to see um, from myself and your TV. Anyway, have a blessed day and remember, be kind and be Canadian. Thank you so much.